I'm going to talk you through what it means to organize a Wikipedia editing event. Sometimes these are called edit-a-thons, wiki editing party. We're talking about having an event either online or in person where you invite a lot of people to come together. They're going to interact with each other, socialize. They're all going to edit Wikipedia and at the end of the event, they check out what everyone else did. This happens all the time. So students at universities do this. There's library groups that organize these kinds of events, all kinds of nonprofit activist organizations say, uh, we're having Black History Month or LGBT Pride Month or a holiday. And they say, we're gonna get together and we're all gonna edit Wikipedia articles around a theme. I'm, I'm gonna talk you through how to do this. How, how do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm Wikimedian at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. I've organized hundreds of Wikipedia editing events. Different people do it different ways. I'm going to give you my opinion of how I think is the best way to do this. First question to ask yourself is, are you organizing this event for the benefit of the people who will attend? Will they have fun? Is it supposed to be meaningful to them? Or is the purpose of the event more work oriented? Fun is nice, but the point of the event is to get the most high quality edits into Wikipedia for whatever purpose you have. I'm just going to tell you that when I talk with people organizing these, these events, usually their priority is to get more work done. And that's fine if that's the way you wanna do it. But my recommendation to you is to organize the events for the purpose of fun. The reason why I think you should do this is because if people have fun at your events, they're more likely to edit more Wikipedia on their own time. and they're likely to have a positive experience, so come back to your next event. I think even if you organize for fun, you're, you'll have better outcomes with regard to telling people to work harder than if you organize the event for work and say, we, we need you guys to edit the most Wikipedia as possible. So uh, different people say different things, but I say don't make the event for the benefit of you or your organization, make the benefit of the event for the people who are actually going to be attending the event. How do you organize this event? What do you need? I recommend that you have people in four different roles, four different people to organize an event. And I know that can seem kind of excessive, but uh, think of it this way. And if you want to cut out a person, cut out a person. But this is my recommendation to you. The first person should be the logistics person. This is the person that makes sure that everyone who attends your event, whether it's online, in person, they have good access to the event. They have all the resources that they need. If it's in person, you must, re you must provide cookies and snacks. And if it's online, uh, there's uh, other ways that you can be a good host to make sure it's an, a good online event. Everyone should have access. Everyone should have internet access, uh, wh whatever they need to do the event. Second person who helps coordinate the event is the librarian or subject matter expert. To edit Wikipedia, someone is supposed to find a reliable source, take knowledge out of that source. So we could be talking about a book, an, an article, a magazine, the expertise of an institution that's published if you're at a museum or some such thing. You, you need to have the subject matter expert who if somebody says, I'd like to edit this Wikipedia article, the librarian or the expert can go up to them and say, it's a great topic here's some expert publications about that topic. You read, you read this chapter in this book and you can start summarizing this and then you can put that into the Wikipedia article. Because if the people at the event are scrambling online or trying to come up with, with sources, it, it's lost labor, lost attention. You need to have the subject matter expert there to support people immediately. Third person to have for the event is the communication professional. This is something that happens before the event. It's also something that happens after the event. The communication professional is the one who uh, advertises the event, makes sure that the people who are coming to the event, they can ask any questions in advance. They should do things like encourage people to register wiki accounts before the event happens. They are the point of contact for the other two organizers because the subject matter expert Frankly, they're not gonna know what's going on or what a Wikipedia event is and somebody's got to coach them on these kinds of things. And the attendees aren't gonna know what to expect either. Uh, so you need to have that communication person and after the event, 
ends, the scheduled event ends, the event is not over in entirety, the communication person should thank everyone who came to the event. It's very important. Fourth person is the least important, and if you're in a skip one role, you can skip this person, then you're not gonna believe me, but the, the fourth role is the actual Wikipedia expert or editor or facilitator. If you have a bunch of people in a room and none of them have ever edited Wikipedia before, but the event is convened and you say everyone's gonna edit Wikipedia, a lot of times the people can have success. You tell them to go to Wikipedia, they'll edit it somehow or another. You can get some, some kind of success rate. It is helpful to have a, a, a Wikipedia at the event to say, if somebody says, I'm having trouble citing a source, or I'm having trouble finding an article, or I don't know my way around Wikipedia, I'm having trouble making an account, I have a question, where can I ask my question? An experienced Wikipedia person can answer these very quickly, and that, that, that's very helpful. But when you organize a Wikipedia event, this is the truth, it's less about Wikipedia, and it's more about the people learning about the theme of the event. So if the event's at a library, people should spend most of their time engaging with library resources. If the event's at a nonprofit organization, the attendees of the event should be learning about the expertise and activities of the nonprofit organization. If it's in a university class, Wikipedia is the least of it. it the event is about whatever the professor is, is teaching in the, in the class. And you don't get that from the Wikipedia. The Wikipedia just facilitates the flow of knowledge from the reliable sources, which are being cited, into Wikipedia. Okay, four, four roles at a, at a Wikipedia event. Hmm? You need the logistics person who's hosting the event, the event host. You need the subject matter expert or librarian. You need the communications professional who coordinates everybody together, uh, gets the messages out, and then you need the, the Wikipedia editor. Now when you actually have all these things together, what's the next practical step? For an event, I'm just telling you, you should register the event in something called the Programs and Events Dashboard. You'll find this on MetaWiki. This is an event management tool such that you show the link to your event in the wiki platform. Everyone who comes to the event, they have their wiki accounts, they click, I'm gonna join this particular event, and then this tool generates a report of what happened at the event. I'll cut to it, the event tool will, re it, it collects everybody's wiki usernames, it uh, collects the list of articles that they've edited, and wiki does a lot of digital technology things that they make sense when you hear about them, but some people don't expect to see them. Like, for example, it counts how many words everyone at the event added to different Wikipedia articles. It counts how many references anyone cited. Uh, and it says, sometime after the event, how many times anyone read these Wikipedia articles. So you get a communication impact. Why, why does anyone do these events? There's four reasons why people do these events. One of the reasons is they might just want to recruit editors. They think the event is a success if you get more people in the room who participate in it, more participants, and they don't care about, say, the quality of the edits or the amount of the edits. That's not the primary metric that they're judging. They mostly want to see more participants. An another metric that you could be looking for the events is the, the count of the edits and some kind of like quality assessment of the edits. And in that case, you'll be looking at count of, count of references and, and word count and, and these kinds of things. A third reason why people organize the events, and this is a little esoteric, this is, it, it happens a lot, but it's, it's not one of the mo more popular reasons, is they want to not get benefit from the event itself, but they want to get event uh, uh, impact. They, they, want, they don't want to get uh, benefit from the event itself. They want the benefit from the crowdsourced wiki community of the future that they don't know and will never see. This is how this works. At the event, you add content to Wikipedia and you think it's good content, you do your best. But over time, the wiki editorial community, they're going to review this content, they're gonna copy edit it, they're gonna integrate it in other parts of Wikipedia, and if you come back a year later, you, you can take your content back and it's improved, it's developed, it's curated. This is what Wikipedia does. Anyone can edit and content gets developed over time. You especially see this in media collections, like someone puts images in a few Wikipedia articles and over time 
those images get better placed in other Wikipedia articles or more Wikipedia articles or Wikipedia articles across languages. It also happens a lot in the wiki data space. Someone puts a partial data set into Wikidata and that inspires other people to complete the data set or fact check the data set and you can pull your data set back out of Wikidata after some time and it's better and, and more complete. Uh, the last reason why somebody will want to organize one of these events is communication impact. This is the big one. I, 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 I think everyone should think of this when they're doing events. It's a big one to me. You count how many people, not who participated in the event, but how many people read the content that the event published. There's an entire communications industry. It's worth trillions of dollars where you have content that drives advertising or messages that you want to share. Wikipedia doesn't do advertising. There's, it's not for promotion. But supposing you're sharing information of public interest, like here's the history that's presented at a museum, or here's some public health information, or we're an activist organization and here's our knowledge. We just want to share it with people who are finding it. If you put this content into Wikipedia, you get a huge audience for it. Then you can measure. Wikipedia just gives you these reports. The Programs and Events Dashboard gives you these reports of how many people engage with the content. This is what Facebook sells. This is what Twitter sells. If you put this into Wikipedia, you get it for free. It's a great deal. You should consider that. Uh, I'm just going to review what I, what I said in the beginning. When you're hosting an event, think about the attendees of your event. Is the event for your benefit and you need to get more work out of them? Is it going to be fun? Uh, should it be a good social experience? I don't think the attendees of the event need to know all these details about why you're hosting the event. I'm just giving this as information for you to, to think this through, how you organize it, how you manage it. My advice to you is when you host a Wikipedia event, the first thing that you should consider is how comfortable will your attendees be? How much fun will they have? Will it make good memories for them? And will they have good social connections with the other attendees at the event? Is it going to be fun? Thanks so much for hearing me out. This is how you organize a Wikipedia meetup.